Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, I'm Sierra Cersei. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following for you today. Michigan is having a successful start to early voting. Michigan's voting dashboard says over 263,000 people so far casting their votes in early voting elections. Election officials saying it exceeded expectations. At least 12 early voting sites had more than 1,000 voters cast their ballots. You can still vote early until November 3rd. Election day is November 5th. McDonald says this week the quarter pounder will be back on its menu. The fast food giant says testing found no E. coli in the company's beef patties. Federal regulators believe that the outbreak uh, that got 75 people sick and killed one person was linked to some onions from a farm in Colorado Springs. McDonald says it has stopped using those onions from there. Meyer is hosting a baby gear recycling event and now until November 9th. You can recycle used baby gear like car seats, strollers to get a Imperks gift card of 25% off your baby gear. Recycling bins will be near the customer service area. The coupon can be used towards booster seats, car seats, strollers or a play yard. The old car seats and strollers will create new products like buckets and construction materials. Here's First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your forecast. Thank you, Sarah. For the rest of this Monday, tracking some very comfortable weather across mid-Michigan, considering that we're pretty much at the end of October now. High of 62 degrees, partly cloudy sky, south wind gusting to 20 miles per hour. But for this week, importantly, first alerting you to a couple of chances of rain. The first one coming in tonight and into tomorrow morning, and then our other chance does come in on Halloween. However, we're still looking decent for the evening of Halloween as of right now as that rain would leave just just in time and I'll show you that here first starting off with tonight's showers. These will move in from the west at about two or three o'clock. They'll still be here between five and seven o'clock for your morning commute and for the bus stops tomorrow. That rain tomorrow morning eventually will leave by about 10 in the morning, leaving us with partly cloudy skies for the rest of the day. Rainfall totals for tomorrow generally ranging between a quarter and a half of an inch. So while it's still not completely erasing the drought that we have, it's still some more beneficial, measurable rainfall across our area. But going into Halloween here, we're going to have a low and a cold front passing through. So that rain really picks up by around the middle of the day, late in the morning and towards lunch. But then going into the afternoon, because of when the cold front passes through, the dry slot behind the front should try to scrub these showers out just in time for the evening. So as of right now, trick-or-treating actually still looks to be in decent shape. Of course, we'll still have some damp sidewalks by then, but the rain will have moved off to the east by then. A high of 76 tomorrow, then 78 on Wednesday, so incredibly warm the next couple of days. Actually liking, likely to set some records tomorrow and Wednesday before we cool back to the 50s Friday and the weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.